we want to finish the season. Um, right? We've got a bunch of guys in here that have built this program. I know how I want us to go into the offseason. I think I know how you guys want to go into the offseason. We have a handful of seniors that will play their last game as a Pirate next Saturday. I know how I want them to think back on their senior day. So I'm sorry that we didn't make the plays to win today. But I'm determined to make sure we finish. Determined. For many reasons. Most of all, for the group of seniors who play their last game next Saturday. Stick together. I got that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really crazy, like, how fast this season went by. About to put that purple and gold on for the last time. we be playing in my last game in Daddy Foot. And, like, I've been here through the ups and the downs. And, like, this season isn't really a reflection of this program. Like, our record is not really a reflection of, like, the brotherhood we have in the locker room or, like, how many good players is on this team. And, like, a lot of guys that we got in the locker room and I'm raised some real brothers. Got some like real chemistry with guys, probably that I'll talk to for the rest of my life. I know things have been rough this year, but like, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It went by real fast. Like uh, I was just in junior college. Um, I played my first game, but it felt like it was just like three months ago. You know, like that's how fast life goes. But as long as you maximize each day, you won't have no regrets. You won't live with no regrets. So. I feel like um, just maximizing each day that I'm granted, I don't have any regrets and I'm just thankful and grateful for where I'm at right now. Yeah, it's definitely a, a different culture in our locker room than it is elsewhere. You know, we run a real brotherhood and we've got a real gritty team. Like, you know, we are very physical, we play hard, but you're not going to be able to last <laughs> like you know, on this, in this team, in this program that we saw, like, we'll call you out about that. So, you know, just, just got to, a, a great culture here that you can't find elsewhere, you know, we've got the best fan base in the conference by far. And that's like, no matter what, the ups and downs through the program, we always gonna have that good fan base. Like, you know, like you're not gonna find that nowhere else. Like we got an amazing culture here and it's by far probably the best in the conference. Coach Houston has really like made us a, a disciplined team. And you know, like Coach Dallas has these two words that he always says and it's, and it's do right. So, you know, you always gonna find guys that, that's, that's just gonna do right. So that's off the field, on the field, that's in the locker room, that's in the classroom. That's like when, nobody, when, when nobody's watching what you're doing, like you have to be doing right at all times. And that's one thing that we have definitely done over the years, you know, just, and as that had happened, you've seen us over the years get better as a team each year. So, I mean, he's done a great job with making sure the culture is just a bunch of guys that's doing right. You know, living living their lives right, going to class, you know, great in the academic, great in the classroom, you know, conducting themselves as men off the field. And his style of culture, like I said, it also affects us on the field. So, you know, on the field, if you're always doing what's right, you're always doing your job, you just, we're gonna be successful, you know. He preaches, we gotta play fast, we gotta play physical. You gotta be the most physical team, the most dominant team. You gotta give the most effort. And you just gotta go out there and show that you're not gonna quit. So, you know, that's one thing. That's that's one of the three things we try to do going into every game, man. We, we get it done. Football taught me everything, you know. It just teaches you how to um, become the man you're supposed to become, you know, how you're supposed to do things in your day to day life, how you're supposed to be disciplined, and how you gotta get things done every day and not waste a day. So, you know, football just, it taught me a lot of things in life. You know, I'm grateful and I'm thankful for it. Football has taught me a lot. You know, like, one of the main things recently that it has taught me that, like, mental health is real and, like, mentality is real. Like, I've seen, like, over the years, I've seen a lot of guys just be defeated mentally instead of physically. Like, I can see somebody that's not the strongest go out there and just run through a 300 pound man, like, easily. And that's just, like, a mental thing. It's like a mental thing. Like, it's, the game isn't all physical. You have to be there. You have to have the right mindset to go out there and do it because like physically a lot of guys can go out there and lift a lot of weights and run fast but if you don't want if you don't want it then it ain't gonna happen if you don't want to hit this man it ain't gonna, you're not gonna do it if you don't want to catch that ball if you don't want to break that tackle you're not gonna do it no matter how strong how fast how quick you are mentally you got to go out there and you got to prepare and the game is like it's just it's a mental battle just as much as it is a physical battle and that's something that i've been realizing a lot lately it's also taught me 
how much you can't just do stuff by yourself. It's 11 guys, and those 11 guys have to be on the same page. And if not, if one guy messes up, touchdown, big play, or miss block, miss assignment, like sack. Either one, because I've played both sides of the ball, so I've seen it all. But it's a team sport. You gotta have you gotta have everybody on the same page if you want to be successful. And it also taught me that you don't know it all. Like listen, learn. Like the coaches I've had over the years, they just I always thought I know it all. You know I know this, know that. No, it's all about the little things, and those little things are something that you can always learn each more and more each and every day. So shoot, as I prepare for life at the ECU. I think those things are gonna help me a lot, you know, because obviously I want to pursue my career at the next level, and I'm gonna do everything that you know I can in my power to you know make that successful. And if God allows me to do that, then then great. And I gotta make sure I carry all those tools that I got from this program over to that next level, and that that'll allow me to be successful at the higher level. First career touchdown. Great run, 138 yards. Hey, I appreciate every one of y'all boys. Appreciate y'all for giving me the opportunity, uh, believing in me. Yeah, uh, we believed in you, we believed in you. It's on the beginning, let's keep going, man. First four weeks, um, I was on IR. Wasn't able to play, I was battling an injury, but when we went to London, they let me know that I was ready to go. So I took that week, got focused, played my first game. It was all special teams, but uh, I enjoyed the game, enjoyed the experience, enjoyed the fans. Out of country game for my debut. Couldn't hope for nothing better than that, so. Keen is a dog, by far one of the fastest players I've ever played with. And it, all, it always shows with him because he always does what's right. You know, he shows up with a smile on his face every day and he's gonna be able to work. But he's a fighter, I've seen him fight fight through so many bumps and bruises and injuries and just go out there and still be the fastest guy on the field. So it's like right back to that mental thing. He had that mentality where no, nobody was gonna tell him no. Like he came in, he was the smallest guy in the room, but he turned out to be just probably the best guy in that room. So, you know, he was able to just just show up each and every day and he just kept grinding and kept kept throwing it out. He, he showed everybody that nobody wanted him more and he was able to go out there and he was able to prove everybody wrong and now he's doing it at the next level. So shout out to Key, man, he's a dog. Very proud of Key, man. Like I seen him work hard every day, going out there on the practice field, getting extra lifts in, things like that. So, you know, him blossoming in the NFL right now, it's not a real big surprise to me. It's because it's something that I knew he was going to do. You know, uh, he has very special talent. He's going to do great things in the future. So yeah, I'm proud of Key. Championship lifestyle. Always stay on top of your stuff. Decisions you're making, habits, choices, who you're around in your free time, all those things are very, very important. I mean, you look, take a look at the guys from this roster that have made it at the next level and look at the ones that have not. The most talented, not necessarily is the case, right? But I promise you this, J-Mac, Keaton, Holton, Isaiah, Deontay, you know, all those guys. Strong character, strong work ethic, driven, do things right. I'm not saying they're perfect, but those are all traits they had, right? It matters. It matters. Winners. Winners have strong character, do things right. My first touchdown, uh, when I broke, I knew I was going to score, but when I got in the end zone, I kind of like froze. My celebration wasn't what I wanted to do, but uh, it was a dream come true. Couldn't ask for anything more, but I enjoyed the touchdown. My teammates was there for me, and I appreciate them guys. So in the locker room, you know, everybody was hyped, pumped for me. We all celebrated, but they told me to uh, keep going. It's a long season, so they were just there for me. They still there for me. I got my next touchdown, and they was like, yeah, there's many more to come, so stay focused, stay locked in. So having my dad around, it's all love. Uh, I appreciate him being there. With him being on the rave, this is like surreal. So I just appreciate the organization for giving me a chance, being able to follow my dad's footsteps. Yes, sir. Glad you're here today. Yes, sir. 
Uh, it means a lot to come see these guys play again. They all tell me that I'm a motivation, so I just come out here and tell them boys that uh, just keep going. No matter what the record is, just stay together. Don't point fingers. Just go out there and do your job. Just stay as a team. Stay as a brotherhood. and Don't let the chemistry go down. Just keep going no matter what. Play your hardest and things will eventually get better. It was great able to see one of my teammates, you know, on the sidelines with me and just seeing like how his life has changed over the couple months because, you know, I want to follow in his footsteps and do the exact same thing that he was doing. So I know it was it was a great feeling, you know, seeing that a guy from ECU could do it. And, you know, I'm glad to see that, you know, he was able to do it and hopefully I can get the next man up. It's, it's a real proud moment, you know, him be, uh, making his dreams come true. You know, I, I know he's proud of himself um, and how far he came, and how far he's going to keep growing into the man that he's supposed to become. It's a good thing to see your teammate be successful and come back and uh, still show love to all his brothers that he used to play on the field with. It's great for the culture, it's great for the team and for the fan base to always get those ex-players that used to play here, you know, come back and show that they still support and love this, love this, uh, this organization, this team, this program. So, you know, it's, it's always a good feeling being able to see those veteran guys, you know, they obviously come back around for a reason because it's a special place, you know, we're trying to keep guys here, trying to keep you guys around. So it's, it's, it's a good thing to use them as motivation, you know, for everybody else in, for, in the program on the team. So it's just, it's just amazing that seeing that he still loves the game, you know, not just him, you got the other people, the, the Zay Jones that came, talked to us during camp, you know, all those guys that, you know, still want to be a part of the program. And it's, it's good to see that. Just walking around the tailgate, uh, it's still love for the fans. They recognize me, I recognize them. So appreciate them for still being there for me. It's all love with the ECU uh, fan base. Once a pirate, always a pirate. Let's get it. Hey, our focus this week is one thing: beat Tulsa on Saturday. That's it. Okay, everything, everything we're gearing for this week is to play our best game of the year Saturday afternoon in Daddy Ficklin Stadium and beat Tulsa. Okay, so let's make sure we're doing all the things right that we know we got to do in order to accomplish that, okay? Senior night is, is going to be surreal, but, you know, this is the present, this is now, you know, and I'm I'm just happy, you know, ECU granted me that opportunity to come down here and showcase what I got and to be able to just grow into the person I became down here. I mean, it's just been a great experience, you know, and Dowdy uh, Ficklin and East Carolina is always going to have a, a big part in my heart. Last game of the year, could be my last football game ever. Definitely my last football game in Daddy Flicker Stadium. Mindset, just go out there and give it all, everything we got. Just be dominant, dominate on all on all cylinders, every single snap. You never know when your last one is gonna be, but I, I do know this will be my last game in purple and gold. So I just gotta go out there and give it all I got. You know, leave it all on the field for my brothers. Just make sure they know they're getting everything out of me. Same mindset, you know, win, dominate. That's that's how we go into each game and uh, every game. You know, we want to dominate the opponent we're going against. And we just continue to just take it day by day and just get the most out of each day and maximize each day to be able to be prepared. And then once the game day do come, just uh, have fun out there.